So we've got Anthony Joshua versus Otto Wallin, Saturday night, Saudi Arabia. Riyadh is going down. I like Anthony Joshua's energy recently. I like the fact that he's he's no nonsense, no friendly, friendly chat, no good luck and all this. No, he's about business. He's about getting the job done. You know, he knows what it's like to taste defeat. He's had it twice in a row against Alexander Usyk and he saw how the public turned on him and his two comeback fights where he hasn't really put a, a foot wrong. He hasn't received what I believe is the credit for him trying something new, trying to adapt his style, trying to improve his style, trying to evolve who he is as a fighter. And I've seen what he's been doing from a fight fan point of view, watching his fight against Franklin and the Nordic Nightmare, Hellenius. I'd have liked to have seen personally him get involved a little more, forcing the issue quicker than he did. But I don't know what he's working on behind closed doors. I don't know what the mission was. Obviously, the mission is always to win and win is conclusively with as little damage coming at you in the process. And from that standpoint, he was was an A1 performance against Otto Wallin. I believe he's going to need a little more than that. I believe he's going to need to push and force the issue, looking for the shots. He's, he's fighting a southpaw, a guy who's proven at the top level against Tyson Fury that he can be a problem. I was there ringside um, for that in 2019, and Otto Wallin gave a great account of himself. Since that point, he's beaten Dominic Brazil, Gassiev, the former cruiserweight champion, and has shown that he is you know, a top five, top ten heavyweight and is deserved of this opportunity in Saudi Arabia. He's had plenty of notice. He's in shape, he's ready to go. But I'm really looking forward to seeing how Anthony Joshua rises to the occasion and shows us you know, what he's all about. Pre-fight hype, I'm liking the straight talking, no nonsense, let's get the job done. I need to see more of that in his performance. I need to see him looking for the opening, forcing the openings, using that lovely athletic um, prowess that he has, his jab, his good legs. When it all mixes together, it's beautiful. But I'd like to see a little bit more pressure, not pressure walking forward frame random punches, no, but literally stand that bit closer, just, just, just out of range, ready to spring in with something, and particularly against the Southpaw. You don't get that many opportunities to land flush shots and them, particularly experienced ones who know how to cut angles and use their sort of Southpaw advantage to their advantage. He's done 24 rounds with Usyk, who's probably the best heavyweight Southpaw ever. We're going to need to see something from Anthony that could be used against Usyk, because Usyk isn't going anywhere for a while. He's around for the next couple of years. And Anthony Joshua, I know, wants revenge there. But before he can think about that, he needs to, to show himself that he can deal with a Southpaw, a world-class Southpaw, in a lot better manner than Tyson Fury did. I think that'd be a huge statement. Tyson Fury struggled. If Anthony Joshua can get out Wallen within the distance with a good performance, I think that gives him the confidence and the fans a real belief in his, his true ability. Probably in the next fight, if he is to win, is against Deontay Wilder, who has his own a challenge against Joseph Parker that same night and it's a great place for boxing Saudi Arabia really making the fights happen that couldn't seem to happen in years gone by Riyadh season truly has brought something special to the world of boxing for fight fans for fighters securing the the finances to get all of the teams happy to put their fighter up on the stage to get busy because even if they lose all of the team still get paid and they get paid significantly more in Saudi than anywhere else in the world. So all of the team who guide and direct the fighters seem to be flowing towards Riyadh season and making sure the biggest fights happen in Saudi Arabia. And it's gonna be a fantastic evening. Tremendous doubleheader with a solid undercard as well. DAZN, box office, do not miss it.